So uh, everything was working there. Um, I think I just forgot to push the go button. To be fair, uh, one thing you need to make sure is your your phone is actually paired to your computer. Um, and also, if you want to connect as a client, you need to be using the same UUID. I just know I am using this UUID because that's my application that I'm connecting with. But um, you also need to make sure that. So I forgot to push the go button. I think. And connect to my computer. Boom, there it is. Let's just go ahead and write a bit of code to say that the server has started. Right, so let's go. Update UI server started waiting for clients. And let's go ahead and make a boolean. We'll go server started. It's false. Server started equals true. And let's just check if server started is true. It's update UI server already started silly sausage. Let's have another crack at that and see how she looks. Right, now connecting the client. Here's the client and we've both oh Oopsie. Let's just return after that. Uh, you probably can implement multiple servers at once, but let's not do that at the moment. Um, now, what we want to be doing here is we want to start a new peer stream. Our uh, streams. So I'll go stream m stream equals con dot get stream. Now with this we can uh, receive messages and send them. So we could go for example mstream.receive uh, read and then so let's make a let's go byte array received equals new byte Let's make that big. So what we've done here is we've got the stream that we've got from the socket here, and now we're waiting till um, the client sends something. So this is going to block until it can read, and then we'll go. Received. And let's put the message. Plus. Let's go encoding. Uh, encoding. Is encoding something? Here we go. ASCII dot get string and that should write the message and then we'll just start a where reply we'll go mstream dot write SCII dot get bytes and go new byte array uh, let's just send like a couple of numbers so 48 49 50 oh 
Oh, sorry. What am I doing? Um, we've got to put a string in here. Go. Hello world. There we go. Zero. Oh, I've done this in an absolutely retarded way. Right, forgive me. Let's go send. Right, so now what's going to happen is once our connection is made, our server here is going to wait for our client to send a message. It's going to display it to the user interface, and then we're going to send a message back to the client saying hello world. And then we're going to start again, and it's going to wait again. Now, in here, you can put all kinds of methods to handle your own communications. Um, lots of different ways to do it, you'll probably be able to figure it out once you get this, it all set up, so I'll leave that to you. So let's start that server. Connected. And um, I'm just sending it from a joystick application, so it's really quite gibberishy, but I'm getting the reply on my client side, it's all working fine. Hopefully it works for you too. Right, next up, I'm going to do the oh that that closed because I uh, ended the connection on my client side, so we can probably handle that with a try catch. So let's go ahead and do that. So just go highlight all, go surround with. All right, this isn't this is an eclipse. Try. Go catch. Probably go IO exception, I imagine. And let's update the user interface for something like client disconnected. Right, so that's the um, server side of a Bluetooth connection using C Sharp. And what I'm going to do next is do the client side. Uh, we'll use the rest of these little functions we got here. So this list box. Um, the we tapity tap. Uh, yeah, I'll see you probably soon. You probably watch this back to back. So I'll see you now.